I hope people are starting to realize that the only reason so much of the government cares about you is so that they can trick you and abuse you. That's why they care about you. It's not that they don't care about you. They need you. They need you to believe that that they need you to believe that they think that, that you, that, that that they care about you. If if they know as a voter that you love them and you care about them, they need that. Well, and they need that belief that there's good guys and bad guys. Right, right, right. exactly. They they need that belief too. That it's just yeah. like, well, you're the good guy. You're gonna and and then meanwhile, it's like you look at you know even that plan that the Democrats put forth to to handle police brutality. It's I haven't even read it yet. What did they say? It's pretty weak, man. I mean, it basically what? consists of like, oh, well, there's gonna be. You know, th- there's going to be better training, and there's going to be this, and and there's going to be reform. Which I tell you, you know, as soon as they get that better training, I think it's going <laughs> to. I mean, better training. What was what what was Chuck Schumer's slogan like about a year ago? A better deal. Yeah, a better, a better deal. deal. <laughs> that was their, that was their thing. That was, that was what they came up with. <laughs> that was like. The, I, the other thing that's great about that one is they just admitted their previous deal was shitty. They they, they <laughs> when, when they called this one a better deal. So. We're gonna try to do a little better. We're gonna yeah. try to do a little bit better. Yeah, we realized that one was kind of shitty, so we're gonna give you a, a better deal. This yeah. is gonna be better <laughs> than a better deal. Yeah. <laughs> what are you offering us? Well, over there, there's like neo fascists and actual Nazis and shit. Yeah. We're I, I think we're better than that. Maybe I think it's better. I'm pretty yeah, sure. No. You don't want to fight Nazis. You want to compromise and work with them because <laughs> that's what we do. They're all their good friends. Remember? <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it's I, remarkable. I was thinking how the Democrats and the Republicans, you know, because there's some areas where they they absolutely work together, you, you know, and and they're best friends. They, they oh, like, yeah, like they're mortal enemies. But uh, one of the reasons is is the two party system. The when and and when they act like they both hate each other, that actually keeps them both in business. Yes. Because yes. Whenever the Republicans are in power and shit ain't going well, and their voters maybe start realizing, hey, these guys are that I voted for are actually doing a shitty job, they can just blame it on the Democrats. And you know, the the Democrats can be their foil. You see. Where we, things didn't do bad because the Democrats and then the Democrats can do the same thing. So so then you're you're never having people looking at the real issues and why things are bad. You know, you're, you're always you're always putting the blame somewhere, whether it's legitimate blame or illegitimate blame. They And, and that way, the two of them are always are always there. You know. Yeah. Well, and the gravy train keeps rolling for both of them. Yeah. The, the donor money. And, and it's like, you know, and. Yeah. That's why neither party is in favor of something like ranked choice voting. Neither party really wants to do anything about the well, electoral maybe college. Maybe what America college. needs is just more greater diversity of billionaires. Maybe that's what we need. <laughs> I didn't think of that. That's a good one, though. You no, know, maybe I'll try that as a new bit. You know, just some. <laughs> you know, we need some some more black billionaires, some more trans billionaires, and then America's gonna work out. You know. Well, and, what it, and more, you know, diversity in our 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 war generals. You know, I, I think, you know, then we can really give diversity everywhere. One of one of one of a joke of yours that I love a bunch is uh, actually about to become a reality. You have that you have that joke where you say there should be no billionaires. Oh yeah, 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 I yeah, know, yeah. I think become a reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do this bit. Um, uh, uh, yeah, well, I don't want to recite it because you're right here. Well, no, no, but yeah, it's it's on my uh, Instagram. If you scroll back, I think a few weeks. I, I recorded that like I think just a couple days before the shutdown. It's the clip yeah. I put up. I was doing it a little before then, but but the clip I put up was uh, the 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 week of or the week before the shutdown. Um, yeah, about like should billionaires exist? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I won't it now, but you can watch it on my Instagram or whatever. Right, but 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 it's it's on its way to becoming a reality. Yes, because yeah. like that's you know Jeff Bezos on his way trillion. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> it's like that's crazy. 
So where can people is he a trillionaire yet or no? He's on his way. They're they're saying the last estimate I saw was like 2026. I, I hope it be gets there. there by Christmas. I hope it happens <laughs> Christmas day. And then America can celebrate. <laughs> you know, we got to the moon before anyone else. We'll get a trillionaire before anyone else. Yeah, Jesus would be so happy. It's like an early gift for all of us, really. Jesus would just be so happy if Jeff Berger <laughs> Became a millionaire on Christmas. He loved the rich. That was his thing. Yeah. yeah, he was really all about. You're right. Yeah, he was really about the the rich and um, yeah, yeah. That was he, he's, he's a modern day Jesus, basically. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's what we should do. Only the the president should just be the richest person. Who's ever the richest person gets to be president. gets to be president because they're the smartest. They 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 did it. You know. They did it. They're the smartest. Clearly, they understand other people because they have more money than everyone else. So you get it. And they know how to run this country like a business. Yes, that's what we need. That's what it's about. It's it's about just making a profit. You know, it's not it's not about taking care of people. It's about. I mean, that argument. He knows how to run this country by like a business because he's a businessman. That's one of the stupidest. Like like a business person. Their only goal is making money. Right. They make money by taking advantage of people. So so that's like, if you think about it, that is the dumbest slogan ever for a strategy for running for president. Oh, but big time. People don't think that. They just think, oh, money they're, is, is success. They, they don't think that it's abuse, you know. People are conditioned, uh, like, well, what's the budget look like? Well, how, yeah. who cares? What do you mean, uh, what does it look like? How does that affect your life? Ron, how are we going to pay for that? How, how are we going to pay for it? How are we going to pay for that? <laughs> That's another one of the, the best gaslighting uh, slogans of all time in this country. How are we going to pay for that? And, and, you know, and, and, and both parties do that. They yeah. both do it. And, and you know what? I haven't seen many people in, in the corporate media, especially where there's uh, the National Guard terrorizing American citizens and putting us under actual martial law and a barricade up at the white house. I haven't seen anyone in the media going, how are we going to afford this? I know who's paying for this for the president right now. No one's saying that. No, no, no. I guess, uh, I guess it's all because that stock market's doing so great. You know? Right. Yeah. It's oh. in, in drones, everybody Kevlar chest plates, uh, Tear gas and drones. Just invest in that, and uh, you're going to get rich. You know that. That's how we do it. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placo. Go through it together and make it our own. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting on.